Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video we are going to be looking at daily, weekly and monthly habits for a better, easier, happier motherhood. <music> please make sure you like, share and subscribe to help us inspire more mums around the world. So there's going to be a lot of content in today's video and I didn't want you to miss out on something really important. So there is also a downloadable check sheet that goes in partnership with this video that I have linked down below. So today I wanted to share some amazing habits that have really revolutionised my life. Some of these are habits that I've been using for a long time, some of them are fairly new, maybe in the last two years, but have really taken root. And some of them are much newer, maybe the last six months, and I still struggle with them. So I'll be honest, some of these I still may skip for a week and then get straight back on it, but I have noticed the positive impact they're having on my life, so I thought it was important to share them with you also. As always, this is about you and something that works exactly for me might not be right for creating the image of the life you want. You need to know what it is that you want so you can shape your life around it. If there's something in this list that really resonates with you, I would encourage you to pop it in the comments down below. Or maybe you have a habit that I don't mention that's really changed your life. I'd love to hear about those too, because maybe it could be life-changing for me. New habits take time. I'm constantly reading quotes about how they take 16 days or 21 times, but actually it depends on the habit and it depends on you. I'm quite a lightning bolt moment person, so if I read a book or watch a program about something, that can really spark a change in me and instantly I've got a new habit. But sometimes I really have to work hard at something and six months, a year down the line, I'm still working hard at turning that into a proper habit. One of these for me is flossing. I see a massive benefit in flossing. Quality of my teeth, quality of my gums, even the whiteness in my teeth seems to be better. But we are years down the line and it is still a massive conscious effort to remember to floss my teeth. So don't beat yourself up. Just because I took on a habit really quickly or I took a long time for a habit does not mean you will react in the same way. Give yourself some breathing room. We are making changes for life, not just for Christmas. I'm sure there's a dog advert about that. So let's start with our daily habits. Movement doesn't need to be exercise, it's just movement. Put on some music and dance around or just do a workout, but don't let most of your day be stationary. Waking up early, going to bed early, having a healthy meal with the family, a quick meditation, journaling, gratitude, stretching, not the same as movement. Doesn't matter what you've done today, you have used your muscles and they deserve a little stretch and this improves sweet sleep quality as well. So like a couple of minutes before bed, just have a couple of minutes stretch. Doesn't need to be perfect, doesn't need to be yoga, it's just having a little stretch. And one of my more recent favorites is having a brain dump. So just getting everything out of my head onto a, a piece of paper or into a note in my phone. Oh, and so on to some of my weekly favorites. Now, no surprise, food prep. I love food, but making your own fresh food takes time. So bulk cooking and making fresh food that you then stick in the freezer and you're ready to go when you need it. Weekly evaluation. I've talked about this before, but really looking back on your past week, evaluating what was good and what went wrong will make you feel awesome and make the next week better. Planning out your diary for the next week. So I do a, a monthly plan and I also do a weekly plan so I can go back over the week and that also helps deal with the people that don't seem to want to get in my diary early enough. Some high energy exercise. So for me, this is two to three times a week, 45 minutes, two are heavy lifting and one is heavy cardio. And again, that depends on your goals. I really like really good muscle definition in me, so I'm doing much more time weightlifting. But I believe that you should have at least two 45 minute high intensity exercise sessions. Mini pamper sessions. I like to do face mask Friday, and I've also now introduced having a bath during the day on Friday, because I never get round to it in the evenings, never get round to it at the weekends. But Friday lunchtime nap, seems to be my weird bath time, but it sets me up for the weekend. And actually I get a lot of productive work done once I get out of that bath. Date night or movie night, this doesn't mean go necessarily going out, but one night a week, we won't have dinner with the small person, we will feed her and then we'll have dinner just the two of us. Or 
we will have a movie together. It's a little bit different from sitting down and just watching TV, or most nights we both go and work in our separate offices. So we make sure that one night a week we sit down together. One lazy afternoon a week where we're not rushing around doing errands. Uh, quite often this will involve a Disney movie with the small, or we'll like sit on the floor and play with her toys for an afternoon, but nothing productive happens. It's just nice. Once a week I will try and reach out to all my close friends, it's quite a small group, I'm quite fussy about who I'm friends with, but I'll reach out to friends and family at least once a week and make sure they're okay so that they know they're still loved. Emptying out things. So for me this is my bags and the car. So during a week I will use my gym bag, a work bag, the nappy bag um, and a small handbag and just going through and pulling everything out of there and make sure they're clean and empty. The first week you do this there will be so much stuff and then the subsequent weeks will be so much easier but again with my car and suddenly I'm like oh I did you I lost this somewhere and you find things it's quite cool but also it means when you get in your car it feels so much cleaner every time I'm a big believer in community we are it's like built into our DNA as women to thrive in community science has proven this and for me that is going to church on a Sunday, but if you're not religious that could be meeting up with friends, that could be a, a baby group or something, but it's getting out and being surrounded by some sort of physical community. Online is amazing and I love our Facebook community group, um, I will link that down below, but that actual face-to-face -face contact, I just don't think you can replace it. And so some monthly habits for you. Well, the first one is gonna be your life balance charts, which we spoke about in another video. I will link that down below. That's a good way of checking in and seeing how balanced and happy you are feeling with your life in its current situation so you can move in the direction you want to go. I also like to do a big event check-in. So if you have a wedding coming up, have you RSVP'd? Have you ordered the present? Have you got the card? Have you wrapped the present? Those kind of things. Same for any birthdays or any other special events that are about to happen. Get ahead of the game, look ahead at next month. Even if I know the month after is gonna be particularly busy, like I've got some birthdays in December, I bought those presents in October because I know I'm gonna be dealing with Christmas by that point. Get them out of the way so that when you do them, you've got like the time to focus and you can do it with love, even if you're doing it about three months early. I also like to do a monthly walk through the house. Now, this is looking at, if there any problems that are causing you issues, uh, squeaky doors that are waking the kids up, uh, do you want to replace a carpet in somewhere, is the boiler not working effectively, like go through and actually write them down, because so often we're surrounded by all these little jobs that need to be done. We never put them down anywhere. So not only are they not getting done, but they're also causing like havoc in our space, they're causing like clutter in our space. And part of this walkthrough can also be looking at where are areas in your house that need to be decluttered where has there been a build-up of stuff that you don't need because I personally believe that that kind of clutter has a massive impact on your mental well-being so the other thing you can do when you're doing a house walkthrough is look at any areas that need to be deep cleaned I'll be completely honest we do now have a cleaner but my partner and I are both building empires and we want family time and that was one of the priorities for us was to still have a clean home but they do the surface cleaning we still do the deep cleaning so we need to stay on top of what areas do we need to get into at the weekends don't forget to download that PDF below so you can work through which habits are most in line with the life you're trying to create. I'll also link the Facebook community down below so you can come and join us and share your amazing experiences. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.